In total, I was inspired by three different microscopic images. I chose two images from the Nikon Small World website. The first image I chose was of mesoerythrial. It was taken by Per H. Jeltsin. I was interested in this image because of the way the image spirals and how the colors in this photo blend together. I plan to use the blend technique, the color pencil technique, and the sponge technique to create a similar effect. The second image I chose was of doxorubin and methanol and dimethybenz neosulfonic acid taken by Lars Beck. I was interested in this image because it had a geometric style and it had a glazing effect. I plan to use the glazing technique and the tape technique. I also chose another photo from a site called Montana Diatomes. It is an image of diatoms placed to look like a kaleidoscope. I find this interesting because of how this image was created by a bunch of organisms. I plan to use the glue technique to create similar shape. First, I put tape around the border of my piece so that at the end I would have a clean white border. After I finished sketching my project, I traced all of the circles using black glue and a toothpick. Then I colored the inside of the circle using watercolor pencils and blended it together with a sponge. After, I glazed the triangles and squares on the outside using tape. Then I redid the inside of my circle to make the piece have a higher contrast. My piece incorporated movement because of the way the colors in the circle swirl in a fashion that makes it seem like the colors are still blending. Furthermore, I also incorporated geometric shapes within my piece to give it a futuristic atmosphere.